board to find on a foreign shore. His mama sure was a friend of him, but his stitches straight and tall in his uniform and all. His mother's face broke out into a grin. Oh, son, you look so fine. Glad you're a son of mine. And you make me proud to know that you hold a gun. Do what the captain says. And the medals you will get. And we'll put them on the wall when you get home. That old tank for that. John's about to get the show. Telling everybody in the neighborhood That my son about to go As a soldier now you know She made well sure her neighbors understood She got a letter once in a while And her face broke into a smile She showed them to the people from that door And she bring up that son With his uniform and gun and this thing she called a girl a fashion war. But I let her cease to come. A long time they didn't come. They ceased to come for about ten months or more. Then I let her finally came. Sing her down and beat the train. Your son had come home from the war. She smiled and she went right down. She looked up and all around. But she didn't see a soldier boy in sight. But as all the people passed, she saw her son at last. When she did, she could not believe her eyes. His face was all shut off and his hands were blown away. And he wore a little place around his waist. He whispered kind of slow in a voice that she didn't know. She couldn't even recognize his face. Tell me, my darling son, what are they going to do? How is it that you come to be this way? He tried his best to talk, and his mouth could hardly move. His mother had to turn her face away. Don't you remember, Bob? When I went off to war, we thought it was the best thing I could do. I was on the battleground, you were home at the ground. You were there, standing in my shoes. I thought when I was there, what am I doing here? Trying to kill somebody, who did I try? But the thing that scared me most, when my enemy came close, I could see that his face looked just like mine. But then, there's a feather of a little steep. I was just a puppet and a play. Through the roar and spook, the string and family broke, and a cannonball blew my eyes away. He turned away to walk, and his mom was still in shock, seeing a man of grace that helped him stand. As he tend to go, he called his mother close, and he dropped his medals down into her hand.